Structural Design and Innovation, the Aga Khan Museum and Ismali Center in Toronto. Team members, Amer Winford Drive Limited, Moriyama and Tashimi Architects, CH2M Hill, Carillion Canada, Alliance Forming, and St. Mary's CBM. The Aga Khan Museum, clad in white granite, rises some 45 feet above ground, with walls that cantilever outward and inwards on all four sides. The Ismaili Center was designed to respond to the traditions of Islamic architecture in a contemporary way using modern materials. These two facilities, each total almost 100,000 square feet, constructed in reinforced concrete, structural steel, structural glazing, large skylights, stone flooring and cladding, timber framing. The development incorporates a unique combination of contemporary design features and interpretive elements from tra traditional Islamic architecture. The level of quality, workmanship and materials demanded is extremely high and this project delivers on all three of those items. We have a speaker please. Good evening, everybody. Um, my name is uh, Bill Coop from CH2ML. Um, on behalf of the project team, I'm delighted to accept this award. Um, I'd like to certainly thank the Ontario uh, Concrete Awards and the judging panel for, for making this award to the project. Um, uh, the Aga Khan and Ismaili Centre project is quite a worthy project. Um, certainly, our team has enjoyed working on the project very much. Um, and the concrete was not just selected for its suitability to support um, the sloped cladding facades, but also for its ability um, to provide mass for vibration and, uh, and acoustic isolation uh, reasons. And um, there are a lot of architectural features on the project. There are um, integrated staircases made from concrete. There's also use of uh, white cement uh, for architectural features internally. So concrete has really been used as an expressive uh, material for the project uh, to great success. Um, and really one of the successes of the project was a collaborative approach by the whole team and their attention to detail and quality, not just through the design process, but through the construction process as well. And certainly I'd like to thank um, not just the design team, um, the architect, um, which is um, Moriam Tashima Architects, also a Carillion um, Canada, and their construction supply chain, which includes um, um, Alliance Forming Limited and St. Mary's uh, Canada Building Materials, um, because the, the, the project really was a truly collaborative effort by everybody on the team, and then also to other consultants that contributed as well. Uh, thank you very much.